Hey guys, Dan here from the sharpening bench. I'm going to do another full-length sharpening video. I'm probably going to break it into its parts, which would be setting the knife up in the clamp, getting the burr established, and uh, finally polishing the uh, edge to a mirror shine or near mirror shine. This is a uh, brand new blade for Tucson. It's a Night Morning Designs in D2 steel. It's a moderately hard steel. It's not by any stretch of super steel. It's substantially better than what you're going to find at Walmart or locally, and it's priced uh, pretty reasonably. Anywho, uh, this knife presents some challenges in that in an attempt to be aesthetically pleasing, the designer sloped the uh, spine of the blade away from the center line and then obviously the uh, apex slopes towards the uh, secondary bevel. So I have no real flat spot, spot to grab onto. I'm going to use a double clamp to uh, combat this and I'm going to have to be careful to center it properly because the tendency is going to be to want to tilt like that. Um, I could disassemble a knife, which I'm considering doing. The flat spot under the uh, handle is a good spot to um, clamp onto. Now, is it worth the effort? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get away with doing it this way, and then we'll see where we're at from there. At any rate, here's my uh, two and a half millimeter adjustable uh, wrench. Uh, first thing you'll notice is I've drawn a line. The line runs from the tip of the knife to the ricasso, and it's straight in that the belly of the knife is eliminated as a reference point. And then I have a knife, uh, a mark dead center on the blade, which in this case is somewhere around just around under five uh, centimeters. I've got it nearly where I want it in that um, the center line is on the center line. And now it's just down to uh, clamping her down. I'm putting a little extra oomph into the uh, screws here. Now I'm putting pressure on there to see if she'll wiggle and she looks pretty good. Next I'm going to take out a sharpie and I'm going to put a line on the uh, edge. I'm going to use blue. I tend to not use black because I want you to be able to see or I want to be able to see the uh, shoulder of the secondary bevel. And what I'm doing is I'm just tilting it ever so slightly so that the line is pretty close to perfect. Once again, I put it on the shoulder of the plastic, I tilt it, and away I go. That's a pretty decent line. I've seen people try to freehand it, and the line's going to be sloppy and all over the place. Next, we're going to flip her over and repeat the process. Put the plastic on the bevel and run her right across. That's a full speed, how I normally do it when nobody's looking. And there we have it. Uh, on a positive note, this knife has a sharpening trail, which helps in terms of uh, getting a good clean edge. And it's got a moderate amount of belly. And it's a good slicing knife, decent knife, especially for the money. Today I'm going to be using Edge Pro uh, Matrix Stones. These are quite awesome. These are a resin bonded stone. The machining and the quality of the build here is outstanding for those of you who are into that kind of thing. Um, these are better made than the Orion uh, Beneath series that I buy from Grigmatic. Um, and they cut differently. So I'm not starting with a 250, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to go with their 650 just to see where my edge is at. 
first thing I'm going to be doing is releasing my set screw so that I can adjust the uh, pitch or the angle. And I'm, I'm kind of looking at it like where is it? And I, and I know I gotta come that way a little. And I'm adjusting the angle. It's looking pretty good. I haven't used these stones in a little while, and I'll tell you straight up, they're cutting very quickly. Uh, they happen to be freshly dressed and cleaned. That looks in the ballpark of correct, so I'm going to just tighten that down for the time being. Once I've got my edge set up, these other two reference uh, lines are not really needed. I'm going to quickly do a check one more time. And the other thing is I try to get the marker off my stone. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm digging it. That's uh, that's spot on. Now, for you, those of you that are interested, I can take my uh, sharpening cube, power it up, zero it out on the uh, table up top. And I can put it on my little shelf here. Saying it's at 13.7, which uh, I don't know if I'm believing that. I'm going to flip it over. It might be that the knife is not uh, straight in the clamp. And we'll see where we're at here. All right, just eyeballing it, this side looks to be uh, slightly different in terms of the thickness of that secondary bevel. I would say half a millimeter or so off. The uh, tricky thing though is it seemed to be uh, centered okay. And I might just roll with it the way she is. Um, A knife can be sharp without being uh, symmetrical. Think like a uh, chisel grind. Uh, my preference, though, is to set the bevel to be equal and have it, you know, straighten them out. So looking at this, I'm hitting the shoulder, but I'm not hitting the... Uh, the edge might be that I have to correct on this side a little or it might be that I'm not clamped in I'm believing that I'm clamped in good 
And then I just need to correct this side slightly. So, as per usual, getting set up for sharpening took me about 10 minutes. Um, what we have is it's clamped in alignment with the center of the uh, machine. My angle is set uh, properly. In this case, it's uh, right around 13.5 degrees per side, um, which is pretty aggressive. That's a slice of kind of edge they put on there. It's a thick knife, so that might help it with its performance. But anyway, now we're good to go as far as starting off. Uh, what I'm going to do from here is correct on this side and leave the other side uh, as it came from the factory. And in that way, I'm going to be setting my bevel to be even. And there you are with the first uh, of three videos. This is the setup, which is critical.